Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th. Okay, so just gonna see what comes up. What do we have for around the 20th? Knowing that the timing is fluid, right? So Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very stable, solid, secure, hardworking, enjoying life. A very independent individual who has a lot of skills. Looks like there's an opportunity of some sort because there's an opportunity in this person's hand. Somebody has an opportunity. There's some sort of money coming in or investment or saving or could be new prosperity or they've gained some prosperity. Hmm. Strong, independent person right here that has a lot to offer. I wonder if there's a wish being granted as well because whenever I see a well or something or if maybe that's a fountain or I think it's I feel like it's a wish. I feel like we have a wishing a wish being granted or somebody's making a wish or something like that. Temperance reversed. So temperance reversed. A need to cooperate, a need to find balance. There's a lack of balance here. A need for moderation. Negative repetitive pattern. Somebody is repeating something. This is a very stable individual, hard working, but this is negative repetitive patterns. Hmm. Something is off. There's a need to re-examine. We may have a, a very independent person who has something that that they're thinking about offering and they're re-examining something. Or maybe we have somebody that has re-examined something. This is a re-examination re of some sort. There could be some inappropriate behavior here. There's obviously an imbalance. Somebody's, it doesn't have to be the same person. Somebody's imbalanced, right? It may not be healthy. What is this temperance card reversed? Something is off. Oh, something is hidden. It's going to be revealed with the moon reversed. Secrets are going to be revealed. Truths are going to be revealed. There's a reality check, a release of fear. Somebody's, somebody's going to be getting a reality check. And that, that, that pentacles in that person's hand is a reality check as well. Somebody's going to be getting a reality check. Somebody could be choosing to be single. That's, that's it's an independent person. We have an independent, somebody may be choosing, you know, to be single. There's been some sort of deception or there's been some sort of lies or some sort of truth is coming out. Definitely an imbalance with both of these cards. Could be some addictions as well. We may have somebody here that has some addictions and they they need to get practical. They need to they need to find discipline because the nine of pentacles is somebody that is disciplined. Somebody needs to find their discipline to get back on track. Anyhow, the moon reversed is something being revealed. I wonder there could be some illness here as well. What is this? Oh, two of them. Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Rods, Ace of Wands. Now, Five of Pentacles looks like we have somebody that's been left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. Um, may see themselves as a victim, may have a victim mentality. There's help, but somebody is choosing not to get help. So I wonder if we have somebody here that has some addictions and they're, they're choosing not to get help. Somebody could also be... Um, 
pushed aside, you know, become pushed aside because of their addictions. You know what I mean? Anyhow, Ace of Rods, Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands is an, is an opportunity. It's a new opportunity. It's it's a it's an opportunity to find balance, obviously, because somebody needs to. So we have an exciting opportunity. There's an opportunity for growth. There could be a sudden desire to go someplace else. Somebody may make an impulsive decision to do something else, you know? Now this is this is uh you know, the ace of the ace of wands is just go for it. Just do it. Just do something. Somebody needs to just do something. Give it a whirl. Take a risk. Judgment reversed. Poor judgment. Lack of truth. Somebody has been somebody's making a poor judgment call. Or they've made a poor judgment call. There's there's lack of judgment here, lack of awareness. Somebody is not aware that the decision that they are making is a poor choice. Somebody's making a poor choice. Um there's some sort of illusion. And there's illness here as well. There is some illness. We have somebody here that is not doing well. Now this is a new direction. Somebody may go in a new direction. They may somebody needs help as well with this five of pentacles. Somebody needs help, but they may not be aware that help is needed. Because this is lack of awareness. Somebody needs to move on from a bad choice. They've made a very, very poor choice. And they've made this poor choice because they were lacking clarity. They weren't looking deeper. They were only looking at the surface. Somebody has made a poor choice. And now they probably play the victim. You know, they have a victim mentality. There's an opportunity for growth. It's a very fertile time. Just do it. Face your fears. There's a need to re-examine the choice. Somebody is probably doing that. They may be re-examining a poor decision or a poor choice that they made. And there's, there's they may be getting an epiphany. There's a lack of knowledge, right? But now seeing the truth, you know? We have somebody here that was... Uh, definitely playing the victim. That's what I see. Victim mentality. I do. Hiding feelings. With the moon reverse. Somebody was hiding feelings. They may, be, they may be really feeling it now. There is a golden opportunity. Okay? This is a, somebody has a golden opportunity. This is somebody that is very valuable. Has a lot to offer. This person has probably made a wish and is waiting. So somebody, this is waiting. Waiting for wish fulfillment. Okay? Look at the pentacles in there. Somebody is waiting. They're waiting for something. You know, it's like when you pull, you throw one of the pennies into the fountain and you make a wish. Those are like the pennies. Okay, this is somebody that has, get, has made a wish, and I feel like they're waiting. They're waiting for their wish to be fulfilled. But there's a lack, you know, hmm. this is a lack of judgment, poor judgment call. Somebody's made a poor judgment call, and they're moving on from a bad choice. There's a need to move on from a bad choice, but there may be a hard time forgiving, because this could be a lack of forgiveness. There could be fear of no forgiveness even you know because this is fear fear of the unknown it really is 
definitely re-examining a choice. So somebody is re and they and now they've been neglected, abandoned, ghosted, ghosted, you know, left out in the cold. The advice is to just do it. Just do it. Face your fears. Do it. Just do it. This is an opportunity. Okay? It is. This is you can do it. Anyhow, the judgment reverse. That is totally unaware of the choice that they made. Inappropriate behavior with this temperance card. Somebody has acted inappropriately. And now there could be some consequences because this is a card of karma. Okay? And in the reverse, it's probably not good. So there could be some consequences here. <laughs> Ten of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups. So yeah, there's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's there's a wish. Somebody's wish is about to come true. It is. It is. This is this is making the wish. This is the wish coming true. But this is moving on from a relationship that didn't work out. That's what's happening. And and going after wish fulfillment. It's making a wish and waiting for it to happen. Manifestation. I mean, that pentacle is manifestation. So somebody is manifesting a new opportunity. That judgment is is being well needing to accept but having a hard time accepting. Somebody is having a hard time accepting that something is over, a relationship is over. I think that they've made a very poor choice and they may have some regrets. Somebody may also be choosing to be single and wait, wait for somebody of value. Anyhow, um, the Nine of Cups is a card of happiness, wish fulfillment. This is a party or a celebration of some sort. Somebody's going to be very, very pleased with an outcome. There's been some sort of lies, okay? Somebody's been lying. They have been hiding their feelings. They may want, they may... Uh, they've been trying to, to decide. They've been trying to decide as to whether they want to cooperate or whether they want harmony in their life. We have somebody here that is not in a place of harmony with the temperance reversed, okay? They're not in a place of harmony. They're feeling discontent. They're they're feeling left out. They're definitely feeling left out. And I feel like they're feeling left out because whoever they probably abandoned, maybe that person has abandoned them. I do feel like we have somebody that is traveling in a new di direction. I feel like their health has been affected. Their health has been affected by a relationship that wasn't on the same page. I mean, the Ten of Cups reversed relationship problems. Somebody's been dealing with some relationship problems and they've been making a poor judgment call. And, you know choosing to stay in a place of neglect or abandonment when they have a better opportunity waiting for them.
We have somebody here that has a lot of self-doubt. It's like they doubt that they will be secure or they doubt that they will be happy again. There is an opportunity for happiness here, absolutely. All you have to do is manifest it and wish for it and wait for it and it will come. We have a very single, grateful individual here who is enjoying the finer things in life. It's because this person knows their value. Probably, we have, I feel like this is not in a relationship. Somebody may be getting out of a relationship, just being honest, and choosing to be single and wait. Because I feel like waiting is big here. Looking at wish fulfillment, they're going to make a wish and the wish is going to be granted. Okay, it might take a little bit of time, but it's going to be granted. Ten of Pentacles, happily ever after. Comfort. Building up a you know a permanent stable foundation, right? After getting out of you a relationship, after you know making up moving on from a bad choice, somebody was in a bad relationship where there, you know, just wasn't happiness. But in the future, we have this Ten of Pentacles, which is long term. Okay, it's long term permanent uh, success. This is comfort. This is property, new property. Somebody maybe, I don't know, it could be a new home here. It could be a new home. It could be family money, inheritance. Somebody could be getting an inheritance that makes them extremely happy. Or they're just getting a new home. There could be a change of residence. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is financial success. It's family support. It's a family business. It's starting a new family. Um, comfort. Building comfort. Long term. Wish fulfillment with a nine of cups. Somebody is going to be, I don't know if there's an engagement coming up or a party or a celebration. We may have, we may have somebody here that's it's like they're just sitting all alone, right? They're sitting all alone, you know. They're just sitting all alone. There's nobody around them, you know, and then they just, you know, their wish comes true, you know. It's like we have somebody that has been waiting. They've been waiting for something. They've been waiting for obviously a wish to be granted. It looks to me like the wish is going to be granted. And it's going to allow them to move on from a poor choice that they have made that has to do with a relationship. Okay, this is the poor choice and this is the relationship. And this is moving on. Okay? Going to the other side, you know? Taking a risk. So this is risky business. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is leaving some sort of... I don't know if it's a gas lighter or it's a somebody that neglected them or abandoned them or pushed them away or outcast them or, you know, abandoned them. That's what it is. They're leaving this person that abandoned them behind by the looks of things. And I think because they have chosen to do so, because they know their value, there is some sort of wish that is about to be granted that brings them some sort of permanent success, long-term success. So some sort of abundance is absolutely coming. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Abundance is coming for this person that has worked really, really hard to find balance after they have been neglected. Somebody has been neglected and they have been neglected and abandoned in the whole nine yards. Anyhow. I feel like we, we have a very warm energy here with all this yellow. Okay. It's it's very warm. 
It's a very a bright opportunity for success, okay? There is success here. There definitely is in happiness after making a poor judgment call. So yeah, somebody's made a poor judgment call. There's also some sort of truth that is about to be revealed with, with, with the moon reversed or the judgment reversed. Maybe it's truth being accepted. Somebody may be accepting the truth. after not being able to forgive, after not being able to accept, okay? Because this is a card of acceptance and this is a card of acceptance, but they're both reversed. Somebody has been unable to accept. But this is a, this is a new vision, okay? And this is a sudden desire, the Ace of Wands. So somebody may get this sudden drive, this sudden desire to just leave all this shit behind. So I feel like that's what the energy is. This is an exciting, I mean, when you get the Ace of Wands, it's exciting. This is a new spark. It's a new passion. For some of you, it could even be a new partner, okay? Just go for it. This is a new vision, right? Gets this new. Somebody gets this new vision. It's time to go. It's time to leave this victim mentality behind and move on from that bad choice, that bad relationship, and go after my happiness. And it's like as soon as they do... You know, happiness comes. Soon as you get there, it comes. Good luck. <laughs>